this fascist gas bag. Here is that order uh -oh. and freedom have always existed in a in a very precarious balance. And when buildings start blowing up, people's priorities tend to change. He's got a point there, sweetie. Bobby. I mean, who is this idiot? He is talking about ending personal privacy. Do you want your phone tap? <laughs> I'm not planning on blowing up the country. Well, how do we know until we've heard all your dirty little secrets? You're just going to have to trust me. Oh, I know. We'll just tap the criminals. We won't suspend the civil rights of the good people. Right. Then who decides which is which? I think you should. You know, Bobby, I think you should take this more seriously. Honey, I think you're taking it seriously enough for both of us and half the people on the block. Fiedler, we need a complete FinCEN epic and a DRD workup on a Robert Clayton Dean. Yeah, socials 986-260901. Pull up keyhole data files, okay? We're running a comprehensive database search. Brian did a preliminary analysis and comparison, and he came up with some pretty interesting stuff. Thanks, Brian. Thank you. Prioritize his phone bill. Who's he been calling? Oh, man, check this one. Who? Rachel F. for you know what banks. God, would I love to have her ruin my life. Do a cross. They were at Georgetown together. Sophomore year, they have the same address, same phone number. They remain close, many calls, regardless of marriage. Oh, here we go. What? Dean, over the past 18 months, has four, five, seven cash withdrawals of 4,000, 5,000, and up, and up. And each time, the delectable Miss Banks makes large cash deposits of her own within a day or two. Blackmail? Well, her deposits aren't the same, but let me figure this out. Ah, yes, they're exactly, exactly 15% of the amount Dean withdrew. This is the security camera at the underwear store. Freeze there. Rotate a 75 degrees around the vertical, please. Freeze there. Times 10. Focus on the drop. Enhance, then forward, frame by frame. All right. Now, just before the view's blocked, there's a shape change in Dean's bag. See the shadow variance? See? The shadow's wrong. Zavitz changed the configuration of Dean's packages. Is it a tape? It's hard to say for sure. These things are... Computer take us around on the other side? It can hypothesize, Chris. Yeah? Can you rotate us 75 degrees around the vertical, please? What do you think it is? It looks a lot bigger than the tape. Savitz had digital compression equipment in his apartment. He could have downloaded it to anything. Or maybe the bag twisted in Dean's hands. Or something moved in front of light and altered the shadow. Maybe it's nothing. Maybe it's everything. Let's get it and find out. Hello, Mr. Dean. Uh, yes, can I help you? I'm Detective Bingham. I'm Pratt. We're with DC Metro. Shh. Uh, sorry to bother you at home, sir. We're just hoping to ask you a few questions about Daniel Zavitz. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, can I see your badges, please? Just Certainly, sir. Sure. put taps on his 20 most frequently called numbers, and let's get into his life. The union situation has, has mob written all over it, and he's definitely vulnerable on Rachel Banks. I want to know about his wife. I want to know about his parents. I want to know about his gambling problems, his urine samples, his porno rentals. I want to use every means possible to get what we need. 